Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to start a new chapter in this channel. We're going to be adding in the Addy Express King Size. And there won't be like a huge amount of tutorials, more than likely, but we're going to go over the basics. This is it as you receive it brand new and what's in the box, how to put it together and how to get started on um, getting it all set up and things like that. I wanted to show straight from the beginning from getting it in uh, the mail as a box. Now, yes, I will admit I have already been into this. I've already used it. I've made uh, 11 hats or whatever right now. Um, but, uh, I put it all back in so that way we can go through it piece by piece. And then in another tutorial, we'll start with working up hats. So this is just your basic setup video for the Addy Express King Size. I want to thank again, the anonymous gifter that sent this to me and, um, this video's for you <laughs> and anybody else that wants to watch. Thank you for coming and watching my videos. And I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Even if this isn't something that you particularly want to do, I appreciate your time um, in watching the video. Okay, so when you get it, it's this really cool you know, shape box. <laughs> and uh, again, please excuse anything you see around the sides here. Um, I had to change the elevation of my camera so that way you can see in the box. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get into this box. Lift the lid up here. And first thing that you probably will notice when you open the box is that there is a booklet on top. Now, this is pretty vague instructions. Um, it tells you uh, at the top here, it gives you some dimensions and um, different small information uh, that it is a 46 peg and also the yarn... Uh, four to eight millimeter. Uh, let's see. The tube size is 13.8 inches and across from side to side, it says 17 point. Uh, so probably from the outside to outside of the machine is 17.7 inches. And just a quick, you know, it kind of gives you a rundown as to how to set it up. We're going to go through that now. I'm going to move that out of the way. The next thing you'll notice is you'll get some uh, two Addy Express stoppers. Now, I've never used these. I have no idea. I will definitely um, get into messing with those, and that way... Um, you'll understand how to use those as I understand how to use them. Um, these videos are more of my experiences with an Addy. Um, I've had a Centro years ago, um, back when they first came out and they were designed for children. They wasn't well made at all, really. Um, they have improved from my understanding and from what I've seen um, other people using them, they have improved quite a bit. All right, so moving on, the next thing you'll notice is you have a little baggie here with some extra um, needles. These on the Addy would be considered your needles. And there is a plastic um, like darning needle in here. All right, so this is the plastic bag that the book was in and the wrapping off of all of the other bits and bobs. So I'm going to go ahead and move that out of the way just so you know that that's, they do come individually wrapped, every, every little article of extra pieces here. So I'm going to pull out the Addy here, 
pull it out. And what we'll notice here is that there is a protective foam over the top of our handle, our crank. So I'm gonna move that out of the way now. And then next we have inside here in this little extra compartment, move that out of the way, is our legs. You receive four legs like that. So we'll set them out of the way over here. And then we have the mounting clamps to mount it to the table or whatever surface that you will be mounting it to. All right, I'm gonna move this box out of the way after I throw this stuff back in here. Get it out of our way. All right, so with this, I can now move down just a hair so you can see a little bit more. Okay, so with this, what you're going to want to do is make sure your crank is not going to get damaged. Turn it upside down. And you'll notice that there are four points around your Addy. That is where each of your legs go. And they just screw in. They simply have a bolt here. And then underneath uh, this plastic is a nut. So you just simply screw those in. Put one in each of your leg points here. It is metal, so you want to be cautious that uh, you don't over tighten them, but you also want to be cautious that you don't cross thread. If you're concerned about cross threading your bolt into the nut, the best way to do it is to let it sit down into your uh, nut and then turn it counterclockwise until you feel it drop down into place and you hear it. Then you go and go clockwise. So again, righty tighty, lefty loosey, you know the old adage. So here we go, we got that nice and taut. And we'll go ahead and do this one. Now, once you have that part done, you're gonna flip it back over and you're gonna wanna turn it to a position where the crank is easy for you to get to an access, whether you're doing it standing or you're doing it um, from a seated position. Next, we're gonna add our table clamps. It's not necessary, but it is highly recommended for you to use your table clamps. So I'm gonna go ahead and change position of the camera so you can see how those work. Okay, so here I have it. I'm gonna slide it all the way over to the furthest edge of my table. That way I can get this back leg and this front leg here. We're gonna go over this one here together so that way you can see what I'm doing. We have this clamp with this loop on it. That loop goes around the leg. So I just slide it around the leg like that. And then what you'll notice is this bottom black piece here has this little lip. So if you're looking at it, and this is your table, my finger's your table, it slides in like this. So that way it keeps it nice and stable. So that's the position of your table mounting clip. And I just kind of hold it in place with my finger while I work on the butterfly uh, or the wing nut here. And you don't wanna over tighten them. You just, again, want it to be taut. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one. Okay, so now we have it mounted to the table. It's not going anywhere. I can freely move my crank very easily from where I'm sitting. Now we're gonna go back over the top of the 
Addie and talk about the the process of checking it out, making sure everything's working properly. Okay, at this position, we have our tension and yarn guide right here. And this little lever just slides back and forth. So that is working just fine as far as sliding back and forth. It isn't, you know, broke or jammed in any fashion. It clicks into place. And the next thing you'll notice is right here, we have our yarn round or our knitted round counter. And as you go, it will turn. When you're done working, you just simply go through the numbers until you have reached back to four zeros, just by turning this knob clockwise. Now I'm gonna turn the crank just a little bit, again, clock, clockwise, and we're gonna work around slowly each of these needles just to make sure that everything is working properly and nothing is jammed in any way, shape, or form. I'm just gonna work my way around. When I come up to the black needles, you will notice down here on the counter, you will also notice that it will change to three zeros, one. See it changing? That is your starting pegs or your starting needles. There we go, it went into the next round. So I'm gonna go all the way around to the black teeth or the black needles, sorry, again. Just kind of make sure everything's going nice and smooth. Nothing is jamming, that little bit of squeaking is in the crank itself. So here we are and it has changed to zero, 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 two. All right, the next thing that you're gonna see is on the side between your uh, row, round counter and your uh, crank, we'll shift positions. That is for flat panel and round tube. So if we go up, that is for flat panels. And if we go down, that is for round panels. Okay, so now we have it set up. It is ready to be used. And that will conclude getting it out of the box, learning about this particular hat knitting or tube knitting uh, machine or panel knitting, as you've seen with the switch on the side. You can do both. Now, if we flip it up to do panels, that's our stopping point, and we would go simply back the other direction all the way to our stopping point and it won't go any further, then we'll go all the way back. That creates a panel versus going all the way around every time. Again, can't go any further. Now, if I move it down just a hair and change it to tube, there we go. Can go all the way around now. I hope that you have enjoyed this setup video and in the next video we will learn how to cast on our knitting machine and how to create the absolute simple basic double-sided hat and we'll talk about what yarns is best to use and all of that good stuff. So thank you for joining our beginning uh, tutorial on setting up the Addy Express king size knitting machine. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, y'all, bye for now.